Now, I think I should just test this one more time before we... So I want to hear what we've got. Compare that with the first variation. All right, that works. Sirs and madams, wherever you are, thank you for your time and attention. This is a recap of composing a ballad in C full tonality, part five, melodic variation. In this session, we continued our work taking the original melody, which sounded like this, and had a backbone like this, and we started from our harmonic variation where we had changed these chords, these chords, to these chords. And we extracted the new backbone compared to this backbone. And then we use that to construct the melody on top of the backbone, paying special attention to the, the, the notes that pass. So the melody consists of notes from each of these cadences, and then in order to smooth the transition between these jumps, we use passing notes. So this melody used passing notes like this, and this melody uses like that. And we pushed our way through two, three, four, five, six, six whole uh, staves. Along the way, we discussed why does it sound so different. And so we pointed out at the end, using our consonants model, that in variation one, which is the magenta color, it uses three, four, and four, three chords as evidenced here. 4-3, four, 4-3, three, four, three, four, three. and 3, 4 plus 3 is 7, plus 5 is 12, so 5 is getting invoked here. So all of these chords have a very uh, high consonance. The 4 is a 3, the 5 is a 3, and the 3 is a 2. Now, However, in variation three, we are working with three, three, and two, four chords. Three, three, and two, four chords, add them up. Three and three is six. The rest take away from 12, you get six. So we're bringing in this consonants of one. So they inherently have, um, even though a two chord and a three chord have good consonants, or a two consonants, the six keeps giving you something different. So that is why it sounds so different. Then the other thing we did is we used our design reference and we realized that in variation one we were working entirely, well we were working within this range of notes in the C major scale and we were passing, uh, any passing note these are the chords we used, and as we changed the chord from bar to bar, we were picking melody notes like F, A, C, or whatever, 
F A C. And then the passing notes, they were still in the in the magenta area. They just weren't necessarily, let's say, in this chord or this chord. They were passing between chords. So then when we started working today, continued working today in the third variation, one of the in addition to them being A three three and two four chords, which bring in the six, they're also pushing us up to here to uh, the octave on the E and our attention got pushed that way because we were trying to emulate the melodic pattern and trying to where we could avoid using a jump of six and stick with a jump of a three or a two or a four so that we didn't have jumps that were too extreme in the melody uh, unless we wanted extreme jumps, and, and in particular jumps that, that felt that dissonant. So, this is what we've got. This is uh, the first two lines of the first variation. This is the first two lines of the variation three. And we said it still sounds alien and it's consistent. The 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 melodic sound. jump down here in the line two, which we got to today, this, this shape of the melody, well that's the same line, never mind. Uh, and this is, it's not, it's not kind of minor. Then we went to line, phrase three. This melodic shape is. And then this is where we were getting challenged because the, the case, in order, our rule of sticking with notes that are in the cadence and still having a pat, we got this pattern. So, but this was not. We didn't end up where we started like we did here. And then, and then, we got to line three break. And we had this really pleasant. And we tried to emulate that here. No. So we're we're conserving the pattern, the shape of the melody, using the new cadences and 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 the allowable notes, so to speak. And this one was. No. No. Which added a pleasing surprise and we also started we learned the importance of context when we were trying to pick for example passing notes we had to listen we had to we had to listen to the cadence and listen to where it was passing to and where it was going to next in the next row and sometimes we even had to listen to the parts in the row and pick notes by listening. So, 
let us listen to where we've gotten with no commentary. do it one last time, a comment on the energy. We said we are feeling the same energies. We are feeling energies of hooking our attention, suspending us, of hooking us again, of sort of wrapping it up, and then taking us away again. It fooled us. We didn't really wrap up. And then we're still holding us in suspense. And then perfect in accord with this being the end of this recap. In our next session, we will start with the break and the wrap, and maybe the true wrap. Sirs and madams, wherever you are, thank you for your time and attention, and as always, keep on streaming.